Welcome back to Sportsline, everybody. John Burton with you. Our thanks to Emmett Golden from ESPN Radio 850. Talking a little hard knocks with the Cleveland Browns. If you have HBO, uh, the uh, newest hard knocks of, uh, premieres every Tuesday night, 9 o'clock here local time, 10 o'clock in the East. All right, as we said, preseason game number one coming up tomorrow night for the Tennessee Titans. They will be in Green Bay. They traveled there today. They'll take on the Packers tomorrow night. And let's talk about it with Brian, who's on line one. Hey, Brian, welcome to the show. I'm telling you, Keith Bowles, a personal friend of mine, and him and Eddie George, when the opposing players, whether a linebacker or a running back, if you hit him first with your shoulder pad, you get up after the game and you pull up off your shoulder pads, you got bruises. That's what's happening, man. I'm telling you. Wait, that's what's happening with who? Who are you talking about? Well, I'm telling you, defensive backs on the Titans are bad. Linebackers are bad. Offensive line. Wait, whoa, 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 bad. Brian, Brian, hold on, hold on, Brian, hold on. All right. Defensive backs are bad. They've got four good corners. Oh, I'm sorry. I disagree. They've got, I'm they've, sorry. Hang on. They've got an all pro safety who was first team all pro and went to the Pro Bowl. Uh, it's safety. Hang on, hang on. I'll let you talk. I'm not rushing. I'm hang not on, hang on a second. Line. Hang on a second. Brian, the Brian, they got that. Brian got I'm not going to talk over work. you, Brian. i got to let you go unless you, unless right. you let me talk for a second. Why are you saying that this secondary is bad? They've got two solid corners in Logan Ryan and Adoree Jackson. They've got two more solid corners, or at least one in LaShawn Sims. They've got an all-pro safety in Kevin Byard. Now, losing Jonathan Cyprian, yeah, that's not good. But, uh, you know, they do have Kenny Vaccaro, a proven NFL veteran. So why are you telling me the secondary is bad? Brian hung up. See, this is why we don't take calls on this show, folks. Sorry. Somebody, somebody jump in where Brian jumped in. If you want to have intelligent Tennessee Titans football talk, I'm all for it. 737-7767, the number to call. Would love to talk Titans with you tonight. Get your expectations for tomorrow night's game. But when you call up and make ridiculous statements like that and you have nothing to back it up, and then when you're challenged, you hang up, it's not going to work, okay? So let's have some good back and forth Tennessee Titans talk here. Let's not jump off the handle it's the first preseason game. We haven't gotten a look at them yet. You know, to make sweeping judgments this early is a little premature. No? Meantime, while you think that over, we're going to hear from the Titans' second-round pick, Harold Landry out of Boston College, who um, will make his NFL debut tomorrow for the Titans' defense. Here's a listen. Like going up against Taylor every day and having Rack and D Morgan in the room with me and being coached by his coaching staff, uh, I can definitely see the improvement every day. So you're asking Dean just about, you know, you're, you get off the ball and you're quick off the snap and stuff. He said, yeah, he's very good at that. It's all the other stuff that we're trying to get up to spit. What are some of the other things that you think you could improve on? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely working on improving in the run game. But like I said, when you have who I think is the fastest offensive tackle coming off the ball at you every play, you're bound to improve. And I think I am making strides at that. And like I said, I think it's all coming along well. Um, I'm improving. I feel like the guys on defense and offense, I feel like we're all a close-knit group. Um, and that's what I'm most excited about. I know all, all rookies obviously juice for the first game, but you personally, I mean, what's – can you wait for Thursday to get here? Uh, yeah, I just take it a day at a time. Because <laughs> uh, if you think too far ahead, you're just going to miss out on the day you're at. Uh, but, no, nah, I'm definitely excited. Uh, first time strapping up against another NFL team. So it's definitely going to be an exciting time. Yeah, I mean, putting the helmet on and going out in yep. the stadium and going through an actual game. Yeah. Game, I mean, that's kind of what you work for. Yeah, it's going to be live Thursday night. I'm excited. Have you thought at all about the fact that it's Lambeau Field? I mean, that's kind of a mecca to it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's Thursday night. Like, I, I'm excited. Like, you, you may not see it on my face because I'm a little tired, but <laughs> but no, I'm definitely excited. Uh, like you said, historical place. So it's going to be a good time. Is, Thanks, you continue to go through this process. Is it almost leaps and bounds how, how much you grow from a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis with everything you've been thrown into at this point? Yeah, that's why I think it's about focusing on each day that you're at and don't think ahead because you don't want to miss out on that day. You don't want to improve on something one day and then come out the next not focusing you mess up on that one thing that you improved on you don't want to take steps back you want to continue to take steps forward and that's what i'm mainly focusing on right now um and i think it's coming along well does that mindset get hard at all sometimes you hear the, the rookie wall not just for the season but for uh -huh. training camp as you just go so long against the same guys is, is it hard to stay with that and not look ahead i mean this game is not for everyone but uh to be honest like my mindset is like I'm not not going to show up like I'm going to do it. So I might as well, you know, give them all and do what do my best at what I can do and just get my 100 percent focus on every single day. Because, I mean, 
I got a fam. I don't want to let this organization down. I don't want to let anybody down. So I'm going to make sure I come out here every day focusing and just get my all. All right, that's Harold Landry, Titans second round draft pick, edge rusher out of Boston College, set to make his NFL preseason debut tomorrow. Definitely be looking to keep an eye on him uh, as uh, the game progresses. A lot of new faces on this Titans team that we'll be taking a look at tomorrow night. Let's go back to the phones. We'll try it. Adam on line one. Hey, Adam. Hey, what's going on? You tell me, man. What do you think of the Titans preseason game tomorrow? What are you looking for? What do you want to see? Man, I want to see. I, I like their secondary. Uh, I like what they're. Um, uh, Brian thinks the they're year, terrible. <laughs> they did pretty good, man. I, I enjoyed watching them last year. Uh, I think if they could buckle down more or less on, um, you know, rushing the passer, man, you know, and when Jason Babin was there, they had that shit. Down, you know, they could. Yeah, you got to be got to be careful with the language there, man. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, but I do. Um, like I said, I think their secondary is going to be good. You know, like you said with. Um, Byard back there. I like Byard, you know, and then and then you know, with them losing that um on their safety uh yeah, what's Jonathan, his name? Jonathan they, Cyprian they lost, yeah. Cyprian. Yeah, yeah, when they you know, Cyprian he was a he's he's amazing, you know, he keeps the he keeps the ball in front of him, man. I like I like how he plays, so I'm looking forward to watching him. Yeah, like I said, you know, losing Cyprian, that's that's a big loss for the Titans defense. They're gonna feel that. But they were able to get a guy like Kenny Vaccaro to come in, a guy that's, you know, he had some five good years in New Orleans. Um, he's got some experience. It's just going to be a matter. What I look for the most is the fact that Cyprian and Bayard worked so well together. Like, Cyprian was able to do a lot of things to allow Bayard to kind of play the free safety role and roam around and get those interceptions. So that's going to be one of the keys in the secondary for those, for Vaccaro and and uh, Bayard to kind of have that chemistry and, and kind of know what each other is going to do. I, I don't subscribe to Brian's ridiculous theory that the secondary is terrible, so I don't know where he got that from. What about offensively? What do you want to see? I want to see Mariota making bigger plays, man. I, I think he's, a, he's smart. He, you know, obviously he's really young, and um, he knows what he's doing. I like, his, I like how he makes his plays. I like how he, um, he goes about throwing the ball, running the ball. He knows when to throw, when to run. He knows when to get out of the pocket. I like him overall. Um, I just don't – our receiver core, man, I don't think it's where it needs to be. You know, I don't – Yeah. I don't, I don't think we got a receiver that's, you know, really that explosive playmaker that can get up there and get the ball and, and make the big play on fourth down when it's needed, you know. And, and you know, I think if we could get a, one, one solid receiver to come in, man, I think we could I think we could do something. I do. Well, we'll see. Corey Davis, by all accounts, is having a really good camp. He's shown a lot of explosive playmaking ability. But the question is going to be, A, can he stay healthy? And, B, can he be consistent over a 16-game schedule? Thanks for the call, Adam. We really appreciate it. Have a great night. See, folks, it's not that hard. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk professional wrestling with the newest member, one of the newest members of the pro, of the pro, of the professional wrestling WWE Hall of Fame, Hendersonville's own Jeff Jarrett, the king of the mountain, a big show coming up that he wants to talk about. And we're going to show you how it's done with phone calls. Adam did a great job. Brian, not so great. You could be next. Stay with us. We're back after this.